So we got a new big bad tank, and I'm all for it. You know me, bro. I love tanks, and I love tank gameplay. I wish my teammate stayed as Ruby, because I don't think Tigris, by any means, is a main tank. Um, Tigris is strong, though. He's like a combination of what I would say is like a Fort, Ono, Fade. He's a combination, and a lot of characters, where he's got that long-range projectile. It's unlimited ammo, so he gets to continue to swing it. It does some cool AoE damage. He does have a shield, but he can't keep it up as long as somebody like Fort. So as an individual tank, even though this guy is a secondary tank, I think Fort actually does his job better than he does in every single aspect of the game. I think he just has more utility, <clears throat> more utility, more damage, we more health, more shield. Lot. So and overall, I think uh, Fort is still king Hi when it comes there. to that like long range tank that th deals damage, but that can also be a hybrid and still be a main tank. But this guy's shield is pretty good. It's, it's invincible, so it's impossible for you to break it, but it does have energy. So when the energy goes down and then it breaks, and it, you know it's, it's kind of done at that point, which is unfortunate. But he's got a good dash. I'm mainly going to probably end up using it for mobility. Three, but you can two, ram people into walls and it stuns them, which is really strong. Um, and that ultimate just stuns everyone. Like you throw a shield and it just, it's like it's a homing missile, it just goes, finds people and stuns them. So it's not trash. He's a good hero. Good hero. Look at how I just got bursted though, but should have walked that corner with my shield out. That's good damage. I need some. Yeah, there we go. I needed him to bring somebody else out with a tank. It's not infinite range either. So yeah, Fort, Fort clears. <laughs> Fort definitely clears. Ow. Oh, I'm on like, oh, the ping got worse this season. It's actually really sad. I think we need to find picks. I might have just forced my way in here in a second and just rotate it around. It's just so weird. Rotate around and flank because we've got some really good. I mean, we have Hall Lang, we have Lassia, bro. Should be able to get some picks to open up the playing field, but. This guy's actually strong. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can create an opening now. We finally are able to get through a little bit. No, I don't even try to hold my. I heard the blossom. I heard it late. I didn't register in my head. I should have had my shield up. We were finally able to at least get into the position. Hopefully, we can keep that momentum going. I don't think so though. Five are on him. He needs help. Hear me loud. I actually need to turn the auto fire off on this character. Because that's not good. Okay. You can ricochet. That's crazy. We can win this game. I think we win this game. I'm not even. I'm actually not worried. If we just get on point once and get the payload moving, we're good. I had to figure out how I want to play this guy. The punishment of justice. The ricochet thing is nice. The 
there's a stun off the wall, and I just missed out my follow up shots, which is unfortunate. That's a double kill. Alright, so we starting to, we starting to see the vision. We starting to see the vision a little bit. Rally up. Let's stick together. Oh, that's so strong. The ricochet of the shots is so strong. Oh my gosh! Alright, I got I got it out. I got it out. I got it out. The fact that I can do that through like the side of the wall is crazy. No, that's actually crazy. I wasn't utilizing him. <laughs> Hit him with a little stun. Alright, I got it now. I got it now. We're here now. I got it now. This is the, I understand. I understand. Good job. Cause like, that's crazy actually. The payload is approaching a checkpoint. Obviously doesn't work against Javali. Just because Javali goes through shields. So it's not infinite range, but if you can get it to bounce, it goes a lot further. It's cool. Sorry, you trapped. We're just not taking care of this Gloria, huh? She's just sitting here for free. How are people still here for free? Where's my damage at? Well, we have all these snipers. There's no way. Okay, they're finally dead. How far can that actually go? It does. It still goes the same distance. I thought it goes further. It's the same thing. Not a good play. Actually, it wasn't bad. That's actually crazy. <laughs> okay, so I get, I understand how to play the character now, bro. That is crazy. No way. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's actually a pretty good tank. That's a pretty good tank. We're able to get the MVP there. I think we had a decent scoreline. Yeah, 14 and 3 is obviously going to be strong. And we did good damage. When you look at, you sort of can break down characters. There's some characters that just have insane damage, like Christina's, Damon's, Judic. Those characters usually place way higher than everybody else but the fact that we're able to get similar damage to sniper is pretty solid especially for like a secondary tank and i think the biggest thing there to utilize is I, that i was not utilizing at all like i said it's my in my early games on this character so i was not ricocheting his shield off the wall turn off auto fire for this character i should have been known that. any character with a projectile i already knew better than that but if you have auto fire off you can choose to play that a lot better you can bounce it off walls off ceilings whatever it is so if somebody's trying to play a corner you can expose them by doing that and then the infinite shield can be useful i think you want to probably start every engage with that because most people are going to be playing with auto fire and they'll be firing straight into your shield once they go for the reload now you can start the fight off with probably one boomerang into a charge into another boomerang especially if they're close to a wall start with the charge you get that stun off immediately try to lock them down um yeah, it's just it's, it's a different play style. Plays if he plays very similar to Ano, just that you gotta remember you have that shield. I like him a lot. I think it's gonna be a viable secondary tank. Am I ready to argue best secondary tank? It depends on how you rank him. Jabali is like one of the truest main tanks in the game. So if you if you consider Fort a main tank, then yes, I think he's one of the best. I think he's the best secondary tank. If you consider Fort a secondary tank, then no. But even though Fort being a main tank, I think having a Jabali and a Fort as a main and a secondary really feel as a main role is still very strong. But as far as those tanks that are like Fade and, I mean, Tigris, and then we have, what, Ano, Kelvin, I think he's better than those guys by a, a big margin, especially with the utility they can get for his, his offense. Of course, we got to play more games on him because that was, that was not, especially in the early, it was just hard for us to take positioning or take space in the early game, which I think is more, speaks more on the team as a whole than it does as an individual player. 
But the second we were able to take space and get comfortable on his kit, this character is actually the real deal. But let me know what you guys think about him in the comment section below. Nonetheless, though, GG's.